And one local political expert is calling this the most exciting midterm election in California in more than 50 years for these Democratic candidates here in Southern California. It has got to feel real good to have a party heavyweight like Joe Biden here for them so close to Election Day. Last month, former President Obama came to town for Democratic congressional candidates hoping to unseat Republican incumbents. Today, it's Obama's one-time wingman, Joe Biden, who is stumping for the Southern California candidates. A new poll just out shows that Democrats are threatening to take control of several local House seats that Republicans have occupied for decades. First and foremost, of course, Californians voting on November 6th is going to mean more than it's meant in a really long time for national politics. It's also going to mean that there's going to be more media attention on these five races than there usually is on any congressional race in the state of California. Almost a month before the election, Democratic challengers are tied or leading in the six most hotly contested congressional races, according to an LA Times poll conducted by UC Berkeley. In the 25th congressional district covering Simi Valley, Santa Clarita and Palmdale, Republican Steve Knight has 46% of the vote. Democrat Katie Hill, 50%. Moving to Diamond Bar in Yorba Linda, Democratic candidate Gil Cisneros has a slim lead, according to the poll, over the Republican, Young Kim, 49 to 48 percent. Suburban voters nationwide have shifted sharply to the Democratic column, and that's why Democrats are so hopeful. Looking at the poll numbers for Orange County's congressional races, incumbent Mimi Walters is trailing Katie Porter, her Democratic opponent, 45 to 52 percent. Along coastal Orange County in the 48th district, Dana Rohrbacher, who's been in office nearly 30 years, is neck and neck with Democrat Harley Ruda, tied at 48 percent. And in Congressional District 49, Democrat Mike Levin has 55 percent in the poll, Republican Diane Harkey, 41 percent. According to the main pollster, in each of these races, President Donald Trump is the key to the results. For Democrats, make it a referendum on Donald Trump. If it's a referendum on Donald Trump, Democrats win. Now, one local political scientist says Democrats could flip one or two congressional seats here in California next month, or possibly as many as seven, which could dramatically change the political landscape, not only locally, but of course, nationally. That's the latest live at Cal State Fullerton. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.